CM365 all about Carnatic music. While the great Vage Karas have given us several beautiful compositions, we see that the Lakshana aspects of music were analyzed and codified by theoreticians who did actually a commendable work, I would say, in terms of bridging the Lakshya and Lakshana aspect of our Carnatic music. In fact, these kind of uh, writers of uh, these treatises, important treatises which we have got over the years, so many of them, they play a very vital role, I would say, in terms of helping us understand the history of music, understanding the growth of music and how music was prevalent at that time. Especially in this uh, times of the pre-Trinity, we could say that uh, in the absence of any audio material available to us, uh, probably these kind of uh, works are a treasure in terms of understanding the whole gamut of music itself. Today in this context, I am going to talk to you about Rama Matya, who is the author of the wonderful work Swaramela Kalanidhi. He actually was a Telugu Brahmin and grandson of Kalinata. And Kalinata, we all know, was the great commentator on the Sangeeta Ratnakara. So he belonged to a great lineage, I would say. And uh, Rama Matya actually was uh, not only a great uh, scholar in uh, uh, in terms of uh, knowing several languages, but as far as music was concerned, he was uh, very, very well versed both in the theory and the practical aspects of music. And uh, that way, we could say that he was really a uh, very ideal choice in terms of writing this particular treatise. He actually was uh, adorning the court of King Ramaraja of Vijayanagar Kingdom. And uh, the king actually uh, requested him to write a new treatise on music, reconciling the conflicts in terms of the views that were there in vogue in theory and Lakshana. And it is said that uh, for taking up this work, the king rewarded him immensely in terms of giving a portion of his fort uh, to this uh, Ramamatya as well as several uh, valuable presents were bestowed on him for taking up and completing this work successfully. Ramamatya actually finished writing this work in uh, August 1550 AD and uh, what is the contents of this book? Uh, it is absolutely, totally I would say when you read this work you know that it is all practically allied and there is so much of information for us to look into it in terms of how the practical aspects at that time were invoked. He divides his work actually into five chapters and uh, first you, he has uh, Udodghata Prakarana or the preface and then Swara Prakarana, Veena Prakarana, Mela Prakarana and Raga Prakarana. This is how the five chapters of the book have been actually uh, spread out, the topics taken. And uh, in the beginning you see that uh, he gives a benediction to Narayana. In the first chapter he narrates actually on Rama Raja's uh, pedigree, his devotion and prowess and uh, obviously because the king has supported this venture so much, uh, in terms of giving him so much of valuable presence and other things, he dedicates his entire work actually as a gratitude to the king. Coming to the main chapters, that is the Swara chapter, we see that uh, he first of all defines Swara and classifies music here as Gandharva and Gana. Then he also talks about Nada and its varieties. And he makes a very detailed analysis of the Swaras in this particular chapter on Swara Prakarana. The next one of course uh, is on the Veena and uh, from the chapter when you read you understand what a great uh, musician he was in terms of knowing the nuances of the Veena itself. And uh, he extols the greatness of the Veena and uh, he classifies them into Shuddha Mela Veena, Madhyama Mela Veena and Achyutta Rajendra Mela. And each again, again, he gives uh, further two categories like uh, Ekaraga and uh, the second one is Sarva Bela Veena. In Ekaraga Veena, what he means is that there are movable frets which can change according to the ragam. Like in the sitar, you know, there are movable frets in something like that. You can imagine where the frets are not fixed. Whereas the other kind he mentions here are the ones where there are fixed frets. Then coming to the next chapter on Mela Prakarana, 
he talks about 20 melas and in the raga prakarana uh, of course he gives the different categories of ragas like uttama raga madhyama raga and adhama raga uttama raga of course he makes a mention and says that these are ragas which are ideal and suitable for composing compositions like the prabandha geeta etc as for the madhyama ragas he says that these can be used as extensions or they can be used to sing portions of some songs whereas the adhama the name itself signifies that they are not suitable for compositions and here again we also see that uh, when he talks about the raga prakarana he also defines the various characters of the ragams uh, talks about the grahaswaram nyasaswaram amsaswaram and all and he also talks about the gana kala that is at what time which ragam should be ideally sung so that way we see that this uh, work of Swaramela Kalanidhi by Rama Matya is indeed a great treasure, I would say, in terms of understanding the Lakshya and Lakshana prevalent at that time. And also we see that uh, these kind of works, what is the purpose of writing such uh, treatises and great works uh, based on Lakshya is that they help much in codifying the Lakshana. So nobody can actually say that uh, they are uh, the things actually work in vacuum it's not like that we have some background and based on that only we are actually evolving our own music so that way we see that these kind of works uh, are very very useful in terms of understanding what our music is all, all about cm 365 all about carnatic music